Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as the first one. I certainly, I do recommend seeing it though, but it's a very long film. So if you're going to go see it, get your sandwiches. That's all I'm going to say. There you go, and I got a victory over Albert. Nice. Now this is going really well, it's actually flowing a lot better. As I said, I tried filming this before and I don't know whether I was in the right mindset or I just kept fumbling over my words. This is perfect. Got a nice flow going here. So we beat Drows and Prince Albert. I don't think that'll be the last we will see of them. Also, you get other matches occurring on the card as well, such as title matches. Jeff Jarrett naturally has basically the Intercontinental Champion and that's definitely one of the big things I remember about the Attitude Era was Jarrett always winning the title. Okay, what's next? Gangrel and Edge again. So yeah, we do have to fight the same tag teams again occasionally. They want like revenge matches and grudge matches. Now, I want to know on this game because I've never played it. I don't think I've ever really completed it if my partner's going to betray me. If China's going to betray Triple H. It would be so cool if that happens. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea, guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so, like, I remember, I think after Gangrel left the WWF, they had a show in Manchester, and I took, I took my brothers up with me to see it. And um, Gangrel was on the card. It was a different promotion. They didn't last very long. They managed to book, like, former WWF and WCW stars. And they had, um, oh, what's his name? Why can't the Australian guy? Oh, what's his name? They bug me now. The Oh, the Colossus of Bogger Road before that. I can't remember his name and it's bugging me now. But anyway, he was in it. So it was just a promotion for the time. It didn't last very long. But it, they managed to, um, went to the Manchester Arena and like, uh, Gangrel, I'd never seen his entrance, I was so desperate to see it. The problem was though, I'd had too much uh, Coca-Cola and I needed to pee, so I was like, oh. it was either that, wet myself or watch Gangrel's entrance, which now I probably should have watched his entrance because it would have been so worth it, but yeah. It was, it was okay, I can't remember the name of the promotion, but it, they didn't last very long, as I said, I think they went bankrupt shortly after. Uh, Nathan Jones, that's it. He was the Australian, wasn't he? He was actually at that show before the WBF took an interest in him. I should remember that because it's like one of my favourite songs is Nathan Jones. Banana Rama did a cover of it, and that's how I kind of remember who it is. But I do remember something about Nathan Jones, like when The Undertaker was training him on SmackDown. And he's like, thanks for training me, Undertaker. And the Undertaker's like, that's okay, Nathan, no problem. And they're like running the ropes and stuff. So they're doing a live training session in the ring. Yeah, but Nathan Jones didn't last very long. He said the travel schedule was, he couldn't deal with the schedule. And I don't blame him, to be honest. It's, I mean, I've never, obviously, I'm not a wrestler, so, but I have heard a lot of tales about the travel and how tough it is and the toll it can take. <laughs> see that? Did you see that? I had it well scanned. I knew Edge was going to go for the spear there. Come on then. Yes. Tag to China. Tag. The tagging in this game is awesome. Like you can pretty much get in the ring straight away and do a lot of damage. Um, work cohesively as a unit with your tag team partner. It's a lot to love about this game. But as I said, it is long. The career mode is extremely long. So you definitely get your money's worth. And so I'm going to try and win every single match. You can lose matches. Uh, from what I remember, it's okay. It it doesn't punish you too much but if you lose too many times I don't think you'll get the title shot I think you get different opportunities at different times to win so if you lose at SummerSlam then you'll probably get another chance I don't know at, at, at the Royal Rumble or something like that 
but you've got to basically consistently win. That's the only way to get through this game, is to win. Okay. I've got to beat Edge. There you go. Come on, Edge. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? Oh my god, you see that? Things like that happen. Now, that's why this is an awesome game. Because you're just never guaranteed to win. Like, anything could happen. And I know it's a cliche, but with this game, anything can happen. You think you've got the upper hand, and then your opponents will suddenly pull a move out their ass. You know, like, they're full of tricks. You cannot expect to win every time. Right, I tried to get the running knee then. Realistically, they should have let me have that, but they didn't. Didn't let me have it at all. Haha. -ha. However. Come on. There we are. I'll put the pedigree on Gangrel. Let's see if I can get the pin. Nope. Ah, shite. Oh, tried to get the running knee. Didn't work. Oh my good god. That's what I'm talking about. Never mind the fact I put a finisher on him. It doesn't always guarantee you victory. Right, we'll just hit the leg now. There we are. Strong grapple. So as I said, even though it does retain some of the awesome controls that WCW had, it has made some refinements. And obviously there have been quite a large roster of characters to choose from. Um, each of that has to be accounted for. So... It's just got that attention to detail that a lot of other wrestling games just didn't have at the time. I mean, I think he's just tagged Edge. And why it's still saying get in, I don't know, when all the characters are in the ring. But anyway, let's take care of Edge right now. Oh, Jesus. Wasn't very nice. Oh my god. Get up. Oh shite man. Oh, strong grapple. Delayed suplex. So yeah, I mean like if this was WCW, I'd have got the win like right now, but it takes a long time to beat your opponents and stuff and also I've, I've learnt your opponents now once they're outside the ring they can actually rest so they can actually recover so that when they do get the tag they're literally more lethal than they ever were so you do need an element of strategy in this game tag to China perfect Bulldog. Come on, do something. DDT. Alright, this should do it. I should get the pinfall now. Come on. Oh my god, a two count. A two count. So, see what I mean? I'm always taken by surprise with this game. Each time I think I've got the victory, I haven't. Almost got it though. Oh, come on. What have I got to do? Get outside the ring. Oh, shit. Get up, get up, China. They're just getting back inside the ring. Shit. 
Oh my god. This guy's really difficult, I don't mind saying. Can I pin him now? No, I still can't pin him. So, I've only been going half an hour, and this is like my second or third match. Alright, this should do it now. Come on. Oh, no. Still nothing. And Ed just keeps blocking everything that I do. So I really feel like I'm getting a challenge from this game. Oh my god, now to Gangrel. Gangrel's back in. So now I've got to work on him now. It's, oh my god, very long-winded this game. But that's what that's exactly what I want from a wrestling game now. I don't want it to be too easy. Right, I'll take out Edge again, even though Gangrel's a legal man, I'll just pick on him a little bit. Oh come on. I know China's only a woman in this game, but come on, she's the ninth wonder of the world. Give her some kind of offense. Oh, come on. Right, he tried to pin her there, didn't work. Oh my god, I walked into that one, but I managed to reverse it. See if I can get Gangrel now. Come on. No. Tag to Triple H. Nice. I don't think he was expecting that. Oh god, come on. Is it me or is Triple H ginger? It looks like he's got ginger hair in this game. Not that that's a problem, but I just think it's just, it's just an observation. Come on, please. Oh, so like, over eight minutes now and I still haven't been able to win this match. And I'll just unleash a flurry of punches on Gangrel. Right, come on. Enough's enough now. Oh, that bloody rope break as well. Oh yeah, like I didn't see that coming. I've got much better at anticipating what my opponents are going to do as well. Right, another delayed vertical suplex here. Edge and China just had a bit of a Barney outside the ring. Hopefully I can end this now because I've just had enough. Come on. Oh my god, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Gangrel is still alive. Now you wouldn't get that on other wrestling games. Christ, what's it going to take? Oh no. Oh my god, I think Edge is just speared China. Don't matter now, sorry China. Oh! Gangrel kicked out again? Oh! Shit, get up. Oh, they're bullying me now. They're bullying me. I can't get away from them. I'm trapped. Guys, I'm literally trapped in the corner. Unless China helps me out now. I'm screwed. Come on. Strong grapple. I just want the freaking victory. That's all I want. Oh, come on. Do something. Get up. On, please. Oh, still a two count. Guys, what have I got to do? What the hell have I got to do to beat this guy? Gangrel just keeps kicking out of everything that I do. 
It's not like I'm not trying. I'm doing everything I can. Nothing works though. Right, strong grapple. Another delayed vertical suplex. Jesus, 10 minutes, nearly 11 minutes. Oh my God, come on. What? I'm trying to pin as well. And like, when you, when, whenever I try and pin, he goes back. He, he just goes back. He won't pin. He won't pin. It's useless. This is so ridiculous now. Right, I'm just going to try pinning him now. I don't care about the special. I, I just want this match to be over. But it won't. This match will not... I can't get this match over with. Just come on, just... Ugh. Get rid of Edge. I've had enough of this. Right, pedigree. This should do it now. Alright, let's pin. Oh, I can't win this. I'm trying to win and I just can't win. Jesus Christ. What's it going to take to put these guys away? What have I got to do? Because everything I do just does not work. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, see what I mean? It's blocking everything. I can't. I seriously can't do this. Oh. oh my god. So that's what I'm talking about. It's much more difficult now to work your way up the ranks. I mean, that was only like my third match or something, and it was tough. Really tough. So I'm never assured a victory every time. It's probably going to take me ages to get some kind of title shot. But I'm here for long haul. Draws and Prince Albert again. Oh. So yeah, it's a lot of these matches are kind of repeated. But I don't want to skip them because although I might get the odd victory, losing in this game, you can lose. But as I said, it has a detrimental effect on your scorecard. So you want to try and win every time and that's what I'm planning to do well at least I'm getting a workout and a challenge anyway this is exactly what I want from a wrestling game I want it to feel like it's a real a real hard um, climb to the top because it's certainly not easy taking care of draws anyway he seems to have got less smart now on this game right I swear to god there was a time when he was just like counteracting everything now now he's just the AI has just gone back to normal now so that's a good thing in my 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 opinion there you go knocked him down And a tag to uh, Prince Albert. Okay. Nice delayed suplex there. Yes, nice running knee. Oh my god, a ball shot there by Prince Albert. And he's just chucked me outside the ring. I guess he wants to do me some damage outside. I'll take him out the ring instead. Try to do the running knee. Goodbye. Okay. Get up quickly. Did you see that? 
I should have got a counter out there, but he was just right, right there, basically, just before. So that would have been an easy victory for me had I been able to get it. There we go. Not letting them get the tag. Goodbye. Destroy Prince Albert outside the ring. How dare you put me in this kind of a match? Right, I'll, I'll get it this time. Goodbye. There we go, we get the win. Well, I'm Triple H, I'm going to use some dastardly heel moves to get my way up the top of the roster anyway, so a win's a win in my book. Oh my god. Next. So, I've got four wins so far. No losses, no draws, so I want to have kind of a 100% run at this. And now I'm on a three-way match. I hate three-way matches because they can just go so wrong. Um, you can, like, get the finishes on your opponent and your opponent can kind of go for the pinfall. It's really awkward. I hate these matches. But it's all part of this game's rich tapestry, so I've just got to learn to get through it. Oh, there we are. So, basically... Um, Though I don't think there were any count outs in a triple threat match either, that's the problem. Oh my god, here we go. I can't even remember if it's Draws or Albert now, to be honest. Right, it's Albert, I'm fighting. I love that case he's got, that tattoo case. Right, let's just do this. I haven't got time for this. Oh shit. Oh, did you see that? I blocked him. The one time when the block button actually worked for me. Right, I need to do like get one of these get these guys outside the ring and 